Okay, so this video is on retroviruses or RNA retroviruses, and I'm going to use the example of HIV to teach about it. So RNA viruses or RNA retroviruses, uh, they actually are going to work backwards from what we learned in molecular cell biology. So uh, normally we would start with like a strand of like DNA, like a double helix, and then we would open it up, uh, carry out transcription with RNA polymerase, and then use that mRNA as a template or a guide to build uh, proteins. However, an RNA retrovirus does not have DNA as its gen genetic material. Instead, it has RNA. So it's actually going to work backwards, and it's going to start with RNA and then do like reverse transcription, hence the name of the enzyme reverse transcriptase. And it's going to start with RNA and then synthesize DNA. And then once there's a double strand of DNA, then mRNA can be made that has the directions to build new viral proteins. So I will go through each of these steps as this video continues. Um, and it's really going to, once the like viral DNA has been made, after that it will use the host's RNA polymerase, uh, ribosomes, etc., to build new viral proteins. So let's go ahead and look at the structure of this um, HIV virus. So this HIV virus has a viral envelope that will help it to enter into the host cell. Um, it has its capsid, which is made of proteins. Um, it has glycoproteins, uh, and then a particular um, enzyme called reverse transcriptase that is really important in this virus uh, reproducing. And then it is an RNA virus, so retroviruses are RNA viruses. Uh, not all RNA viruses, though, are retroviruses. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and look at the host cell. So here we see the nucleus. Now the um, HIV virus is going to enter into the host cell. It will actually um, use the surface receptor uh, on the cell membrane to help it enter. Uh, it will enter into your macrophages and some other white blood cells. And so that's why it's such a devastating uh, virus, because it's actually reducing your number of white blood cells, your helper, helper T cells. Anyway, so the virus is going to enter into the host cell. And once it's inside the host cell, the capsid will be degraded by host cell enzymes. But this will now release that uh, genome, that virus genome, which is in this case RNA. Um, as well as uh, the RNA is there, but it also has its own enzyme, reverse transcriptase. So the next step then is this enzyme, reverse transcriptase, is going to use the viral RNA sequence to then synthesize a single strand of DNA. Now it'll follow base pairing rules. So um, when there's like an A in you know, an A in RNA, there's going to be a T in the DNA. When there's a U in the RNA, there will be an A in the, in the DNA. So it'll follow base pairing rules and build a single strand of viral DNA. Now, this is an RNA-DNA hybrid, um, and the enzyme, reverse transcriptase, is a type of DNA polymerase, so it's also able to then build a complementary strand of DNA um, so that we end up with a double helix. So now there is a double helix of viral DNA inside this cell. Now there's not any proofreading or double checking, and this is one reason why there's a high mutation rate. Um, yeah, high mutation rate, which makes it very difficult to develop vaccines uh, for viruses that mutate quickly. Anyway, so now you have this double helix of viral DNA, and it will actually become incorporated into the host's uh, chromosomes, into the host's genome. So now within the nucleus, there's chromosomal DNA as well as viral DNA called like a provirus. So here we are now in the nucleus and there's actually like DNA that has directions or codes for making uh, viral proteins. So at this step, now the host cell's RNA polymerase will actually transcribe viral RNA. Now that viral RNA is carrying the genes to make new viral proteins, such as the capsid proteins and reverse transcriptase, as well as the glycoproteins. So then here, out in the cytoplasm, that viral RNA is going to be translated into all of the proteins necessary 
to build new um, viruses. Now, if we remember, a virus is not a cell. It basically consists of protein and its genetic material. So now here we have new uh, viruses that are ready to um, escape or be released from the cell and then go and infect other cells. And that's how it like spreads within you. So next, these viruses will be released. That wasn't very smooth, I'm sorry. Be released by cell lysis or budding and then it will... Uh, now be able to go and infect other helper T cells and other macrophages um, over time, wearing down the human's immune system. All right, all right. So that is the general way that retroviruses work. I think the big takeaway of a retrovirus is the role of reverse transcriptase and how it starts with a viral RNA, builds or synthesizes viral DNA, and then becomes double-stranded, and then incorporates inside the genome, and now can then carry out transcription and translation to mass produce even more viruses. All right, all right, great job.